gonna let me get those eggs? Huh? No? We'll see if you're on there in the morning. I think you're all talk. Back here. Did you learn her yet? Oh goodness. She's loud. Did you forget how loud they are? Uh, Alright. Back home you go. Oh goodness. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. That's gonna be awesome. Oh I'm glad she went to because we all loved her. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, Sayla, are you ready to go cut our little piglet loose? And go put it in with our baby goats? What do you think? So we went and picked up a new little piglet today to add to the farm. We're not gonna put it in with Oakers, which is our older pig, just yet. We are thinking we are gonna put her in with some of the baby goats to help let her acclimate and then she'll also have a little buddy so we're not just pinning her up on her own so should be interesting all right you guys ready to get a new friend let's see should we mention the name we're gonna give the pick um what's your name again <laughs> Really? Um, mm -hmm. her name is Sweetie. Yeah. There you go. You got it. <laughs> An orange? Yeah. Rip that open for you. Do you want to see the world's fastest orange eater? Is this her this is, third orange today? It's not the world's fastest orange peeler, in case you guys are wondering. Okay, Sayla. There you go. When she switches hands and reaches for the other half. Hey. You need it? Anytime you want. Fire away. Oh. You don't. You don't. You're not. You don't perform. <laughs> Can't resist. Can you? Where you going? How is that? Chew. Remember to chew. You gonna share any with mom? Have a bite. <coughs> See that? <coughs> hey, can I have a bite. Can I have a bite. Okay. Mm. Mm. Thank you. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, she has one peel off. <laughs> <sighs> uh. That'll come out undigested. Oh, she saved one for you. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. Hey, Good old Home Depot run. Fill up our vehicle. Yeah, this here is hopefully gonna save us some hay waste later. I'll let you know. Oh, yes. Um, do you want me to take the... It's running. Uh -huh. Oh, camera fell over. Uh, Did you knock it over? I don't know. I didn't know you had it there, but what is it?
gonna be the first to get curious. Hey, buddy. What's up? Well, we have a little bit of a situation. Um, so we had let the pig out, and I was setting up the clothesline outside, and I had stepped indoors for like 10 minutes. And the last we saw of the piglet is she was just hanging out by the clothesline with the dog. And came back outside and we can't find her anywhere. Um, I don't see any tracks here in the snow. So we're just looking around the whole property. Um, she's been quite the little squealer. So it's kind of bizarre that we don't even hear her because ever since we've had her she's been making a decent amount of noise so we don't know. Um, there's not much snow left on the property so I don't know. Kind of weird. We have the dogs on the search. Yep. So the dog's on the hunt. This guy got his nose to the ground. We've been telling him to search, so he's been running all over. Sky, search! Search! Sky, search! Come on, Sky. Come here. Oh, he thinks the electric's on. Come on, Sky. You're good. But. No. Do you want to coax Sky out of the fencing? He thinks it's on and he won't come out. But it's off. Up, oh, I see her! Here she comes! I don't know where she was, but oh, she's happy to see us. Well, hello, where did you go? Well, hello, Missy. She is happy. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. That's the ticket right there. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Speaking yeah. our language. Goat grain. Sweet molasses grain. I don't think she'll run off no more. <laughs> Just checking her perimeter. Trying to push her away so she can have the grain. She's like, This is my food. You go. <laughs> That's for her. It's not cereal for you, Sayla.
gentle. Mm. No. Be gentle. Gentle. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're pretty happy to snuggle with your brother. Looks like Sweetie's warmed right up to the uh, goat's milk. Oh, for sure. Time to see if that chicken is still nesting on those eggs. Sure enough, all night and all day. This was our first time milking. Oh, really? All together. As a fam, we got Rory in the car seat. We uh, got down with chores a little early because we have some rain coming. It's just starting to sprinkle. And we just got done with our milking. And um, it was an enjoyable time for all of us to be out here doing it. It's kind of been a hard little hold up to have all of us come out and do it when the weather is so crappy. And uh, Selo winds up just wanting to be held. So it makes it a little difficult. But when it's warm, she's pretty happy just to wander around with all the animals. and. Stuff. So it was fun. We used to be able to always do this together, the two of us, and we'd bring Sail out here in a stroller last summer. But uh, since this season, we haven't really been able to do it till now. So it's been fun that we were able to all melt together again. Little Rory's pretty happy in his car seat, hanging out, taking a nap. All right, you want to tell everyone what we got going on? Yeah, so we have our second um, broody hen. Is that what they call it? Yeah. So our second broody hen has started sitting on eggs inside the chicken coop. We're going to separate her so she doesn't change her mind. <laughs> yeah, and essentially so we can keep her laying on the same eggs. Otherwise, if we just keep her with all the other eggs, she'll just keep laying on them and we won't actually get a full 21 cycle. Right. Days. Yes. If you're wondering, we didn't just make this. This was uh, leftover from when I tried to do um, a rabbit cage. 
so it's a little bit beat up, but it's gonna work. Yes. That's why you never throw anything away. Uh-huh. Laying around the yard. Totally committed to that concept, I'm though. looking around. I got lots of things I want to start throwing away. I think people who are looking at this video could agree with me. Uh, spring cleanup is needed around this joint. Alright. So we're gonna go capture her, put her in here, and then put this whole thing back in the coop. I should have grabbed a marker, hey? Or no, we're good. We don't need to if we're closing her off. Oh yeah, because she's gonna keep laying eggs while she's in here. Oh, I have a marker from last time right in my pocket. That's why you never take things out of your pockets. Throw away. Oh, you throw things away, but that you do do. All right, here comes the chick. The upside down technique. If you hold a chicken upside down when you're managing them, they're a lot more chill. Maisie, it's not your meal, so just chill out. She ain't happy. She's in her little thing, but we're gonna get her her eggs, her water, and feed. See if they've been too old or not. We got your marker, quick. Lisa, get it coming. Sky, just. Okay. What? So we're marking which ones we have in here because while she's laying on the eggs for 21 days, she's obviously going to keep laying eggs. So every morning we'll want to come and take the eggs that she's laying. Close call. Sky! Smashing a sailor. Look at those beautiful colors. Blue. One of them almost looks like pink. What are you doing? Oh, are you coming along? Hey! <laughs> Sayla, where are you going? Come on! Come on in! Hey! Is it so nice outside? You're so muddy. Come on. Sounds good. Make sure you get the right angle, okay? Okay. <laughs> Does it look good? Oh. Oh, you gotta hold it steady. Where you going?
yesterday, I'm not gonna say we, cause I wasn't there at all. But anyways, yesterday we got a section of the field fertilized because the field house itself isn't that great. And um, we did like an acre of fertilizing and we are gonna plant some garlic on it. So we have the garlic in the ground right now from last year and it stayed in the ground all year. It was supposed to be harvested last year. So it's already in full bulbs and we're gonna break it apart and take um, the cloves and try to replant them. We're starting to see that it's sprouting like green shoots through the ground. So we're hoping that we can take out the bulbs, separate them and um, plant them into this acre that we have tilled and fertilized and see if we get a harvest this fall or not. I just don't know why I haven't moved this wheelbarrow any closer. Hmm. So really, how's it looking? It's coming. We're How, moving. What are the sizes of them? Uh, kind of intermittent. Yeah, that side, and that side, I got little skinny ones, some yeah. of them are like all rotten, we don't pick those ones, like they have a lot of this on it, but it's like actually into the garlic, oh. more, this one's like borderline, but, now we gotta separate them, yeah, lots of work here, so you can see that this is what we're pulling out of the ground, and they are all sprouting out which is pretty cool but they would be like they would drown each other out because they're so close and each one of these shoots is going to try to create another whole bulb of garlic so they just wouldn't really have the space to really uh grow so we are uh coming through pulling them all out and gonna separate them and replant them to hopefully get some garlic this fall is it even this fall? Yep. Okay, it's this fall. Wow, look at the size of that juicer. Oh, wow. You know what that reminds me of? Trout fishing. Oh, yeah. All the trout we've never caught. What? Us? Our fishing right? has been horrible. We, we had good luck with trout. Have we? Uh -huh. I've only taken you like a couple of times. So what do you find is working best? Just shovels? Say what? Shovels working the best? Yeah, I think so. Uh, she's She's got a system that works pretty good for her. You have to decide which system you like better. So that one's a lot smaller. Half of them are rotted away. Oh yeah. Okay. It's gonna be interesting. This is a lot of garlic. So you have probably, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine for sure, like 10 and 11 maybe, but those rows kind of seem to thin out. So nine solid rolls of, rows of garlic. All right, I better get my jacket on and get working. Shovel, look at that cute little shovel. Starts out with a good attitude. Yeah. <laughs> I know 
noticed you didn't say better weather though. Mm -hmm. Warmer weather. I don't care if it's raining, but like when it gets cold and I get the oh. chill, <laughs> then I'm, I'm not a fan. It's hard to shake it, hey? All right, so let's finish this. All right, guys, so reality is hitting hard. Uh, we have planted, we don't know how many, well, from me to over to the beginning of our row, and it is just raining nonstop, freezing cold. We got Sayla in the backpack, sagging her head back there. Rory sleeping in the car. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna catch me up. We're just gonna catch up to here. So we have some holes dug. We're gonna throw some garlic in there, plant along this other side, stop where we're at, and then we're gonna hit up this next row and we're just gonna scatter them. We're just gonna throw them and take the gar or and take the tractor and till them and see how it turns out. Um, we'll see what we actually get from it but because we already have them dug out of the ground we don't want to just leave them overnight because they already have roots forming so we kind of need to get them in the ground today but the weather is so crappy we don't feel like being out here to plant them all so that's our plan b without them going to waste we'll see what happens in the fall Warming up in the car. Hey, Sila, are you warming up? Are you getting toasty? Eating some trail mix? Yeah. <laughs> Where's Daddy? Is he planting garlic? Yeah, you're like, nah, I think I'll stay here. <laughs> <laughs> 